Welcome everybody. It's, it's changing as we um, do this each time. I had to like let everybody in. I've never had to do that before. So that's oh. new. <laughs> um, let's see, let me make sure I invite everybody to um, share their faces. As everybody's hopping on, we also want to try and use the um, chat feature tonight. So if you are on a device where you can find that chat feature, I'd love for everybody to just say hello. And if you've been using oils for a while, just kind of um, state in there how long you've used oils for. And anybody who is new, let us know that too. We're going to have a um, giveaway for chatting. <laughs> I think I, I showed that I had um, eight people RSVP'd for it. So hopefully there's a few more people going to jump on here too. All right, you guys are chatting. Good job. <laughs> the question was, how long have you used oils for? <laughs> and if you're new to oils, then you say that too. But so far, I think everybody has used oils who's on here for a while. Hopefully we'll get some of those other people who said they'd be on. Maybe we can remind everybody to get in there and chat so we can, we can do that um, drawing for some goodies that I have. Well, I think we might as well go ahead and get it started. It's been recording, so it just automatically does that. But um, yeah, tonight's an awesome topic. So Linda, you want to you wanna kind of start us off? All right, so um, we want to welcome you tonight to Sun, Skin, and Bugs because we are going to talk about um, some practical things that we can really do on our own. And so the first thing is, since you have started using the chat, um, I want you to just go in there and write down some of the products that you actually use daily. What do you use in the shower? What do you use for your skincare? Um, what do you use for cleaning? What about outside? Um, what, what things do you use um, at the beach for sun? So just start um, um, for it. Um, what do you use to keep bugs off of you? Um, what do you use when you get a bug bite? What do you use in, um, this morning uh, when you got in the shower? So just go into the chat down at the bottom and just start um, just listing some of the things that maybe you use. So, did anybody use soap this morning? Um, what kind did you use? And I can't see the chat anymore, Julia. No. I know. I was looking to see if there was a setting where we could see our screen and. Oh, I can. If I just if I go on chat, I, I can do it. If I okay. just click on. Got it. 
Okay. Goat's milk soap. Wow. Terra cleanser. Okay. Anybody who's the, just joining, we are um, getting in the chat and we are saying how long we've used oils for. And then we're also making a list in there of all of the products that we've used today. So I'll give you just a, a minute, maybe 30 seconds to just, ah, lavender on bug bites. Terra toothpaste, body wash. Yes, did you know there's a new um, body wash, um, Citrus Bloom, and um, I used it this morning. I really like it. I love the Citrus Bloom products too. They smell so amazing. They really do. So all you have to do Oops. is hit the chat button down at the bottom and um, and just type in. It really is easy if you just do that chat. Then, uh, for instance, I've got mine up on the screen and I'm just going to say uh, I used Citrus Bloom. And, you, and if you just click on the chat, um, icon down at the bottom, you'll be able to see what everybody's doing and writing. Okay, well, I think we must have um, uh, really, um, this is really good that um, no one had to use anything on their body today. No one washed their hands. What did you want? <laughs> so the reason we wanted to um, get you started thinking about what you used is because um, many of the products that we use have um, toxins in them. And I am learning more and more about this, but, but what is a toxin you say? Um, a toxin is anything that adds stress to your body. Hmm. And so um, you and I, as women, uh, use um, many products that, and we're exposed to toxins. If you took a shower this morning, um, um, you know, you brushed your teeth, if you put on makeup, um, and I am learning that there are, are lots of different things um, in our um, products that we use that can actually add stress to our bodies. And so, um, so let's look at the next slide, Julie, where it talks about toxic load. And so, um, Women usually, it says, are exposed to more toxins that, than men. Um, and many of our beauty products, you know, one of the, to me, one of the biggest um, problems with them is the scent. Um, it, you may think, oh, it's a scent I sort of like, um, but you find that it really, it, it is affecting you. And, um, one of the ways I can tell is my nose starts running. <laughs> I have to blow my nose, just lots of things. But it is because the scents are artificial. Like um, I was on the plane, um, or coming back um, from a trip one time and this lady was all nervous so she had lavender on. And I thought, why does that lavender bo bother me? Um, because ordinarily I like it, but it was an artificial lavender. It was an artificial scent. And so, um, so many of those ingredients um, are, have 
um, a toxic effect on us. So you have to check your labels and see uh, what are in them because the average woman is exposed to 96 chemicals every morning before she leaves the house. 96 chemicals. Mm. You say, what? Well, look at your ingredients. How many ingredients are in your soap? How many ingredients are in your hairspray? How, or whatever you put on your hair. So, and then your cleaning products um, are another source. Um, and so that is why we are thinking doTERRA has an entire line of natural products that work great. Um, and so what, so what we're, and then look at the next slide because I find this um, next slide just fascinating. When you look at um, the United States and the life expectancy and look at um, all of those countries, um, the life expectancy for women um, in every country is greater than it is for men. Um, but then if you um, look at, and then men, that varies, but, Look at the United States. Are there any, uh, where are we at? We're at the very bottom. Um, and so think about, uh, we probably have more products available to us. We have um, more cleaning products, more beauty products, and, and more prescription drugs available to us than any other country, yet, our life expectancy is lower. Um, and so you think, well, it doesn't really make sense. But the United States has 5% of the world's population and consumes 75% of the world's prescription drugs. Ooh, somehow you just say, oh, we're lucky or, 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 or we're fortunate. Are we? Um, you know, because those prescription drugs come with side effects. And uh, another, um, and then if you look at um, the, the chart with the chronic illness there, um, it starts with asthma, autism, Alzheimer's, um, chronic illness is on the rise. And, you know, if you live longer, which disease will you, um, will you get? Um, so we have this quote that we really like, you can't afford to get sick and you can't depend on the present healthcare system to keep you well. It's up to you to protect and maintain your body's innate capacity for health and healing by making the right cho choices in how you live. And so you and I have really, um, got to be educated and knowledgeable about the products we use, um, the products we put on, the products we put in, and we've got to um, make choices that are powerful in um, our own living um, so that, because we can't afford to be sick, right? True. Okay, so I, I really love this slide. This is, um, I've used this in the past and I just love the reference how it explains how the human body and plants are so similar. And um, it shows that the human body requires to survive water, air, protein, and nutrients. And um, we just went through all those chemicals that um, we, sh we are exposed to, and hopefully we are starting to cut back on those. But did you know that chemicals dehydrate the body? And with our body being made up of 70% of water, it's a big deal. Now, plants also require to survive water, air, and nutrients. Do you have any idea why I'm comparing our bodies to plants? because essential oils, which come from plants and trees, 
are um, derived from a like organism. So essential oils come from plants and plants are very much like the human body. Therefore, the essential oils work to protect and support the organism that they're within. So if they're in a plant, it's gonna protect the plant. If it's in the human body, it's gonna to work to protect the human. So I just love that correlation when I was introduced to it and I, um, I hope you guys like that too. Just understanding a little bit more how essential oils work, um, understanding that we are very similar to the makeup of a plant where they come from. So, um, in, in thinking about essential oils for summer, skin, sun, and bugs, uh, we, most of you have a lot of oils um, on your shelves and you're starting to use them. And, um, and so we are thinking about why should you make your own natural products? Well, number one, it reduces your toxic load. And um, secondly, it, um, it's cost effective. Really, um, if you look at the, um, the amount of cost of most of the drops of oil, it's very minimal. And so if you're just adding a few drops and making them, it's very cost effective comparing um, to going and buying um, an already made product um, on the store shelves. And also, um, it improves our quality of life. We are not putting um, things that would cause stress into us. So we, we want those. And really, um, it's easy and, and they really work. So I uh, want to share some recipes with you. Yes, they do really work. And I, I really do enjoy making them. So um, the latest one that I made was the natural sunscreen. And so I decided while I was making it that I would take pictures so you guys could see the process, how easy it is, and, and then what the final product looks like. But the natural sunscreen is simply made of um, olive oil or jojoba oil, shea butter, beeswax, and non-nano zinc oxide, cocoa butter, and 10 drops of lavender. And the, the um, ingredient in there that does the sun blocking, that, that protects your skin from the sun, is the um, zinc oxide. Now, a lot of the other products that are in there are amazing at moisturizing the skin. And also they create a barrier so that the, the, um, the mixture really does um, grab onto the skin and is water resistant. So you can go in and out of the, the pool or the ocean, wherever you are, and it really stays on um, very well. And not only the day of that you're out in the sun, but um, for a couple of days after you've been out and you've had this sunblock on, your skin is so moisturized. It, it really is a, um, a nice treatment for your skin as well. But simply all you do is um, I take a pot on the stove and I fill it with enough water that I can boil it and sit that, the blue bowl there down in that pot. So, the bowl gets warm enough to melt all of those ingredients slowly. And once it's completely melted, you'll see in steps um, where it says the two, and then the next picture there, it's completely melted. And um, then I take it off of the, the stove and let it cool down just a little bit. And then I'll add the zinc oxide and the, and the lavender. And that's what you're seeing in step three. And then I just keep it there on the counter and I continue to um, whisk it or whip it maybe for about an hour's time. And um, you have to be really careful though, because remember I said it's very um, water resistant. It also clings to whatever you're using to make it. So you wanna use as few bowls or utensils as possible because you do have to wipe all of those off and clean them really good to get all of those um, really great ingredients back off of those things. And then this um, recipe here will actually make four, or not four, 
three little four ounce jars of the sunblock. And um, I probably, I would say I probably go through maybe about two of those jars in a summer with um, my family. So that's one of my favorite, favorite recipes right there. And it, full time to make it, it's probably, I mean, standing in front of the stove and putting thing, everything in it, maybe 20 minutes of time. And then the next one, this is super easy and fast to make. So as long as you order those ingredients ahead of time and just have them um, stored in a cabinet, then you can make this up in like a minute's time. But if you have a one ounce bottle, you just add a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And, um, oh, there, I missed it. And you also put in three drops of tea tree, lavender, and peppermint oil, but you fill the rest of the bottle, which is about three quarters of the way, with the aloe vera juice. And then you just shake it up each time you use it. And if you happen to have joined us in our um, uh, course where we talked about the um, allergies and products, different things to use for allergies. We also mentioned, um, I think we mentioned in there, the poison ivy, poison oak. So this recipe is also very good for anybody who comes in contact with those plants and has a reaction to those. Just spray a little bit of the after sun spray on that and it will um, soothe that itch and, and help relieve the skin. Okay, here is, um, this one's a new one to me this year, but this is a hair recipe. So anybody that swims a lot in the summer, maybe you have your own pool or you just go to the pool a lot, whether it's salt water or chlorine, and if it were to affect your hair or it gets all dried out, this is a natural deep hair conditioner recipe. And it includes three tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, and eight drops of, do of a doTERRA essential oil. And that could be any of these listed here, lavender, peppermint, rosemary, geranium, or clary sage. Those are all great oils for hair restoration. And you simply put the coconut oil and the olive oil mixture um, in a bowl, mix it all up. And um, once it gets nice and thick and creamy, then you know you've gotten it to the right consistency. But you apply it to your hair when it's dry and you comb it through with a wide tooth comb to evenly distribute it. And you just leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then you rinse it off and you shampoo and style just as normal. And this can be done um, once a week or as often as you need to do that. So I have a, a teenager and he's always asking me, what oils again do I use to lighten my hair? <laughs> and um, this is the recipe that we've been using this summer so far not even summer yet, almost summer. We're kicking off summer with this. It's this weekend, I believe. But um, this recipe for lightening the hair, they say that you shouldn't use this if you have real dark, dark hair, but um, maybe like a dark blonde hair, a, um, a lighter blonde hair, you can use this on it. But you use an eight ounce spray bottle and you combine two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, three, 30 drops of lemon, 15 drops of Roman chamomile, 10 drops of grapefruit, five drops of rosemary, and then you fill the rest with water. And um, they state that the apple cider vinegar helps to lighten, but it also leaves a shine and works to strengthen your hair. And then the rosemary and grapefruit help to protect your hair from damage in the sun and can help heal other pre-existing damage to your hair. And then the recommendation for use is to lie out in the sun for 30 minutes, check the color and spray again, and return to, um, and return to the sun until the desired color is reached. Some hair may take multiple exposures to reach a desired color. 
And, and they just say it's a gradual process. So you just kind of have to keep checking and seeing how it looks. Yeah. So we all have also have some um, recipes for um, the bugs. And one of the recipes is the tick spray. And um, again, you would combine it in a one ounce spray bottle, um, 10 drops of geranium, five drops of citronella, and five drops of lemon eucalyptus. And then just top it with distilled water. And, um, but probably one of the things that we need to think about is if you do get a tick attached to your skin, uh, remove it with teeth. Uh, tweezers or a tick removal tool, you know, grasp it near its head, not the stomach area, and gently remove um, upward. And so then, um, and then you um, can apply something such as Melaleuca or Purify. Um, and so we've got a couple of questions I see. Um, and someone asks, is, um, is this prevention spray for tick? Uh, yes. And what about dogs? And so um, I don't have a dog, but Julie does have a dog. And you use it on your dog quite regularly, right? Yes, I use it for the tick and the flea spray, and um, he gets into a routine in the summer. He'll see me get it out and start spraying my hands, and he'll stop, and he'll be like, okay, and I rub him down with it, and then he knows he can get to go out and play, but yeah, that's what we use. Yeah. So, so this is one, um, if you're in a woods area, if you're going in a woods area, yes, um, and you can spray it on your clothes. Um, as well, and so um, very, very helpful. Um, and it smells good too, mm -hmm. uh, not strong. Um, and then we have um, this is a, a bug away spray, and um, and it looks like wow, it has a lot in it. Well, actually, um, I made this, and um, so. Um, it, um, it has 30 drops of Terra Shield. And Terra Shield is um, our oil, which is actually the outdoor blend. And so then um, you also put in 15 drops of tea tree and um, eucalyptus, lemongrass, arborvitae, um, thyme, citronella, lemon eucalyptus, geranium, and peppermint. And so when I made it, I just took, um, an eight ounce measuring cup, and I put those oils in it, and then I added um, the distilled water um, in um, for uh, eight ounces. And because um, I didn't have a big eight ounce bottle, and what I wanted was I had these bottles here, if you can see them, <laughs> see it? Um, and, and this bottle uh, was, I bought, um, through, through doTERRA, but um, I actually filled three of these. Um, and so I sent them off with my kids because they're going RVing and I thought they needed that. Um, and, and again, if you look at the ingredients, um, citronella, well, we know that, you know, people have burned citronella candles outside. So here we have citronella. Citronella is good to uh, ward off gnats, um, and um, and then arborvitae uh, is a really a good one to ward off the ticks, and so that's needed. And and mosquitoes. In fact, I was listening to um, a webinar today, and he said um, that if um, if you actually are in a state such as Alaska, where mosquitoes are the national or the state bird. Um, just add some extra arbovite to your bug, bug spray, he said, because um, it will actually help a lot. So, um, and peppermint is one that actually could be used by itself. You could put it in a, um, several drops um, with the water in um, a spray bottle and um, spray it along um, for ants. 
and spray it along um, just the edge of your um, walls around your house. Um, you know, in, you know, I do it inside my kitchen along there because that's where in the spring I seem to get them. And the reason they say peppermint is because what it does is it, it breaks the trail of the ants. So, you know, they have a trail that they're going to go back to their homes or wherever, but anyway, it, it breaks the trail of the ants. So peppermint is a good one um, for that. Um, I was going to add that there's some really strong oils in this. You can <laughs> substitute this for a um, pepper spray if you wanted to carry protection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So another thing is, you know, we all have diffusers um, or, and use them. Um, I have them going every day in my house in, in many different rooms. Um, and I you know, Julie brought this to my attention. It's like, oh, um, you can use your diffuser outside as a natural mosquito repelling. So you can use, um, um, you could use citronella, lemongrass, lavender, eucalyptus, lemon eucalyptus, um, and um, it's 10 times more effective than DEET. And um, I read some things on DEET today, and it was like, oh, um, after one use of DEET, that um, mosquitoes can actually um, become um, um, immune to it, so to speak, and, um, and it doesn't affect them. And so, um, and again, there are many thing, chemicals in it that are, um, are a bit scary, so. Um, so what are the best essential oils for bug bites? Um, well, you have your choice. Um, lavender is probably the most popular oil and for treating bug bites. And I usually carry um, an, a roller bottle of lavender um, that's already um, been diluted with fractionated coconut oil. And I carry it in my purse uh, for just such things. Um, other things too, but it, it, is, um, it is just very effective uh, when applied to bites. It um, really has soothing prop properties, um, much like chamomile. And if you look at the chamomile, it's, um, chamomile is put in a lot of skin products and lotions. And um, so uh, with bug bites, redness, itching, irritation. Um, chamomile can actually speed up the healing process. Tea tree is always um, a good one. It's, you know, preventing infections. Rosemary is another oil um, that's a good choice um, for bug bites. And um, I like, I like this, the um, fragrance of rosemary, but it can help prevent um, infection. And of course, uh, the mint oils um, such as peppermint and spearmint um, are also another option because they, um, they actually cool the pain off. If you've ever applied um, peppermint to your skin, um, to your neck, just to cool yourself off, well, it has that same effect um, on a bug bite. And so uh, basil, is anti-inflammatory inflammatory, and it helps with irritation. So um, it's a great uh, for bug bites and, and actually bee stings. Okay. So I don't know um, if you um, have put your order in um, this month, but one of the things that um, is exciting is, is is that if you put in a 200 PV order, you actually get Immortel free. And Immortel um, is the anti-aging blend um, for fine lines and wrinkles, but uh, we just thought we would mention it because uh, we're talking about sun, skin, and, um, and bugs. Um, and Immortel is uh, a really great one for promoting smooth um, skin. And then 
here you see all of the, the citrus bloom collection. That uh, was just introduced. And um, I, I think one of the reasons I really like it, it, is, it has magnolia in it, and it just has a soft, sweet, sweet smell. And, and I, if you were participating in, was it one of the BOGOs, Citrus Bloom, was one of the free ones? We, we've had it lately, um, oil, um, but now they have all these products and um, it, it appears they might be in there uh, that you could buy them individually. This month you could buy the whole set, hand soap um, and uh, body soap and um, the lotion. Uh, my two favorites right now are the lotion and the body soap. Um, so, but just very, very nice fragrance. Yes, I love the, um, the hand soap. It smells so good every time we wash our hands, the kitchen all smells amazing. <laughs> they did, the, the collection is sold out. You can't buy the whole collection now. And the only two things that are available still singly are the hand and body lotion. Oh, sorry, hand and body lotion and the deodorant. So if you still um, haven't placed an order for this month, you could add those, those on. All right, I thought I would uh, share this as well for anybody who hasn't um, gotten their own oil collection yet. doTERRA does have these two great collections. And you'll see quite a few of the oils that we um, talked about in the recipes, the peppermint, the lavender, um, yeah, quite a few of the oils, the melaleuca, a lot of those oils that um, we've talked about to use for sun and skin are in these starter kits. So these are great um, values. If you wanted to um, join doTERRA and get a wholesale membership and buy all of these uh, oils and the diffusers, you would pay a lot more than this. This is actually less than wholesale pricing when you buy one of these starter kits. So it's a great way to start your, your collection um, with doTERRA. And the difference between the two is mostly the size of the oils in them. The one that's less is your smaller 5 ml bottles. And then um, the, the one that's 249, those are your 15 mls and those are your normal size of bottle. So one's like a starter sample kit and the other is um, your full size. So it's going to last a lot longer. You have about three times more oils in those bottles than you do in the sample. So I always like starting off with full size as opposed to the little ones, but um, it's great for anybody's budget. You have those two options there. And then we thought we would just share a little bit of something here with you guys. We don't do this very much, but we thought we would share um, a picture of some of the people on our team and us out having um, some fun at um, one of the events that we've gone to a couple different times. But um, in doTERRA, we actually have three different type of people that use oils. And um, you can define yourself as one of these as well. We have the people who live oils, people who share oils, and the people who build. And the people who live are the ones who are using the oils to create a wellness lifestyle. And then we have the sharers, and those are the people who love their oils, but they want to share how excited they are about them with their friends and family so that they can get a little bit of a kickback from doTERRA and it pays for their oils they purchase each month. And then the last one is um, building doTERRA and that's what Linda and I do and this is where we still share with all our friends and family but we also share with um, people we don't know too we're so excited about the oils and how much they have changed our lives and can change other people's and so we share um, the oils because um, we really believe in them and what they can do for people but that also allows us to earn and then come and make a much bigger impact when we share. So if any of you are on here and um, you want to learn a little bit more about 
the sharer builder. We've got a couple more slides. It won't take very long. It's going to be like, I don't know, maybe four minutes. But we're going to flip through those real quick just so you can kind of understand um, what the sharer builder is. So a, sh a um, sharer or builder, you'd be joining our team. You'd be part of um, that picture that I showed you on the other side. And those individuals who are on our team are people who really have a heart of service. So you really um, feel when other people are talking to you about their life issues and you hear them talk about um, different health struggles, you go right to, oh my gosh, have you ever used essential oils? I use them and these are the results that I have. Could I give you a sample to see what you would, um, if it would help you? So that's what we call having a heart of service, a heart where you love to help other people. And to be a builder or sharer, there's only three things that you have to do. You teach other people about oils. You help them get their membership or their, their oils, which is what we call enroll. And then you support, which is where you teach them how to reorder their oils. You teach them how to join education like this and continue learning. And that's really all there is to it. And then the last question a lot of people have when they're, you know, kind of playing around with oils and, and what um, being a share or builder is, is how do you earn money from this? And um, the simple answer is, is that you earn a percentage from the customers or your friends and family that also decide to buy oils you're in a percentage of their purchases they make each month. And there are also bonuses that um, you can earn as well. So that's simple how you um, make an earning from it. But also when you are looking at something like this and you're wondering like, well, I love doTERRA oils, but I don't know very much about doTERRA as a company. Some of the key things that really stand out and make doTERRA a company that you want to partner with is that we have one of the highest retention rates in the industry and what that means is we have the highest number of customers that reorder monthly it becomes part of their lifestyle and something that they truly depend on and know that works and they do continue to order and there are many companies out there that um, people may only order once and then they are no longer you know ordering again. Another really unique um, attribute to doTERRA is that the company is a debt-free company. doTERRA has never taken out a loan for any part of their business. Everything was um, personally invested by the owners and from day one they re remained a debt-free company and to this day they, they still are and they vow to never be in debt and they really help teach their wellness advocates how to do the same thing. And this is really cool. You, you may know lots of people who use essential oils or, or use doTERRA, but I think that's because um, if you are local to Linda and I, um, this area was actually the very first area in Ohio to have doTERRA and start to educate people on it and share um, about it. So that makes it um, feel like everybody knows doTERRA, but in reality, only 1% of the United States population has ever used doTERRA essential oils. So that's amazing. That means there are so many more people out there that um, need to try a sample and see what these oils are all about. And then another um, really cool fact, I think, about doTERRA is that it is the fastest growing network marketing company in the world. And we're also the largest essential oil company in the world. So all of those factors to me make doTERRA a home run. And there are so many more positive um, factors and um, things that doTERRA does that really makes it an amazing company to partner with. So a little bit there about, about doTERRA and um, a builder sharer. If that interests anybody, 
um, we'd love for you to reach out to Linda and I, and we can share more details, but that was just a little so that you could, you know, just kind of see what it was about. And um, we would love to have more people like you all to join our team and um, partner up with us to continue to share our love of essential oils. Does anybody have anything else they want to share or any questions you might have this evening? I'm going to look in the chat too and see who our um, winner of our goodies is going to be. Okay, so we were looking for somebody who shared about the products and it looks to me like Tarsha is going to have to be our winner. Tarsha, you are going to get a, um, a little, it's not little, but it's packed full of information, a modern essentials booklet that um, is the latest version. And so you can look up all your oils in there and how to use them and look up different health issues as well. It's a great, great book to have. Well, Thank you everybody for joining us tonight. I hope you learned more ways to use your oils. And as always, Linda and I are always here. If you have questions or any comments, you can, you can reach out to us and you can always use our Oil Drip Facebook page to also ask questions or make comments as well. All right, well, thank you everybody. And we will, oh, it looks like we're, I'm gonna look at the chat one more time. Yes, everybody. Thank you all for getting on. And yes, Tarsha, we'll get that too. You need that right now, okay. <laughs> all right, we look forward to talking to you at our next online course.